Hello, good morning. My name's Reverend Jenny Walpole, curate in the benefice of St Dunstan, St Mildred and St Peter Canterbury. On this Monday, the 23rd of January, we continue to celebrate Epiphany season. It is also the sixth day of the week for Christian unity. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your light springs up for the righteous, and all the peoples have seen your glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God, King of the nations, to you be praise and glory for ever. From the rising of the sun to its setting, your name is proclaimed in all the world. As the sun of righteous dawns in our hearts, anoint our lips with the seal of your spirit that we may witness to your gospel and sing your praise in all the earth. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm for today is number 40. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He brought me out of the roaring pit, out of the mire and clay. He set my feet upon a rock and made my footing sure. He has put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many see and fear, and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, who does not turn to the proud that follow a lie. Great are the wonders you have done, O Lord my God. How great your designs for us. There is none that can be compared with you. If I were to proclaim them and tell of them, they would be more than I am able to express. Sacrifice and offering you do not desire, but my ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sacrifice for sin you have not required. Then said I, lo, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me that I should do your will, O my God. I delight to do it. Your law is within my heart. I have declared your righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O Lord, you know. Your righteousness I have not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your compassion from me, O Lord. Let your love and your faithfulness always preserve me. For innumerable troubles have come about me. My sins have overtaken me so that I cannot look up. They are more in number than the hairs of my head, and my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me, O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and altogether dismayed. Who seek after my life to destroy it, let them be driven back and be put to shame who wish me evil. Let those who heap, upon, heap insults upon me be desolate because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice in you and be glad. Let those who love your salvation say always, the Lord is great. Though I am poor and needy, the Lord cares for me. You are my helper and my deliverer. O oh my God, make no delay. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is from Hosea chapter 2 beginning at verse 18. I will make for you a covenant on that day with the wild animals, the birds of the air and the creeping things of the ground. And I will abolish the bow, the sword, the war from the land. And I will make you lie down in safety. And I will take you for my wife forever. I will take you for my wife in righteousness and in justice in steadfast love and in mercy. I will take you for my wife in faithfulness and you shall know the Lord. On that day I will answer, says the Lord. I will answer the heavens and they shall answer the earth and the earth shall answer the grain and the wine and the oil. 
Make shall answer Jezreel, and I will sow him for myself in the land, and I will have pity on Lorumaha, and I will say to Loami, You are my people, and he shall say, You are my God. The Lord said to me again, Go, love a woman who has a lover and is an adulteress, just as the Lord loves the people of Israel, though they turn to other gods and love raisin cakes. So I bought her for fifteen shekels of silver, and a homer of barley, and a measure of wine. And I said to her, You must remain as mine for many days. You shall not play the hall. You shall not have intercourse with a man, nor I with you. For the Israelites shall remain many days without a king or prince, without sacrifice or pillar, without ephod, ephod or teraphim. Afterwards the Israelites shall return and seek the Lord their God and King David their king. They shall come in awe to the Lord and to his goodness in the latter days. The Canticle Above you the Holy One arises and above you God's glory appears. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is shining upon you. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. Their nations will come to your light and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight nor moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Above you, the Holy One arises. And above you, God's glory appears. Our New Testament reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, beginning at verse 15. <clears throat> but I have made no use of any of these rights, nor am I writing this so that they may be applied in my case. Indeed, I would rather die than that. No one will deprive me of my ground for boasting. If I proclaim the gospel, this gives me no ground for boasting. For an obligation is laid on me, and woe betide me if I do not proclaim the gospel. For if I do this of my own will, I have a reward, but if not of my own will, I am entrusted with a commission. What then is my reward? Just this, that in my proclamation I may make the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my rights in the gospel. For though I am free with respect to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so that I might win more of them. To the Jews I became as a Jew in order to win Jews. To those under the law I became as one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so that I might win those under the law. To those outside the law I became as one outside the law, though I am not free from God's law, but I am under Christ's law, so that I might win those outside the law. To the weak I became weak, so that I might win the weak. I have become all things to all people, so that I might by any means save some. I do it all for the sake of the gospel, so that I may share in its blessings. Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things, they do it to receive a perishable garland, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it, so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. The responsory, O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations that the Lord is king. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. 
till out his salvation from day to day, let the whole earth tremble before him. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all peoples. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness, let the whole earth tremble before him. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who brings healing to the nations. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. This is the Christ, the chosen of God, the one who brings healing to the nations. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, we bring before you our day and all its tasks. Be with us and help us to know you in it. We pray for those we will meet today. Strangers and familiar faces, Lord, help us to see your face in all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world and its many needs. We remember those who are suffering through war or conflict. We continue to pray for those in Ukraine. And also today we remember South Sudan, Yemen, and peoples across the world who are facing poverty and famine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray too for our local communities, those who are struggling, with the cost of living. We pray for businesses and organisations that may that they may have the resources to function well. And we pray and give thanks for all those who build up our civic life, for builders and civil servants, police people, fire people. street cleaners and refuse collectors, we give thanks for them all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the church, the life of the church. We give thanks for the services that took place across the benefice yesterday and all those places of worship here in Canterbury. Build up your servants, Lord, that they may show your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray too for Archbishop Justin, for Bishop Rose, all those who make decisions. We pray for General Synod, who will be meeting the beginning of February, and for all the discussions that have taken place and are in our news, especially regarding blessings. We give thanks for the progress that has been made and we pray for the future, that positive change will come in due course. And we give thanks for all those who serve 
General Synod and who have contributed to the Living in Love and Faith process over the last six years. And we ask your blessing, Lord, for all that will take place and for the decisions that will be made in the coming weeks and months. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in body, mind or spirit. Comfort and heal those who are in any need today. And we hold a moment's silence as we bring before those, bring before the Lord those who are on our hearts and mind. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are recently departed and those whose anniversary of death fall at this time. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son revealed in signs and miracles the wonder of your saving presence, renew your people with your heavenly grace and in all our weakness sustain us by your mighty power through Jesus Christ your Son our Lord who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and for ever. Amen. Believing the promises of God let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ, who sends us to the nations, give us the power of his Spirit. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining me today. Do have a good day ahead. And peace be with you. Bye bye. <laughs>